Layla is doing an ultrasound abdominal exam on this patient who presented to her doctor with right upper quadrant pain. As you see, the test is painless, the patient is comfortable, and we are able to see the images as Layla is actually scanning. Right now, she's taking a picture of the liver. We use that to determine the size of the liver, its contours, and its texture to determine if there are any masses, bile duct obstruction, or any changes in the liver texture that could suggest underlying liver disease. Very often, we ask the patients to hold their breath so we can obtain better images, and we need the patients to turn to get better acoustical windows to visualize the organs as well as to move bowel gas out of the area. Layla now is showing me an image of the kidney, the right kidney, which lives just below the liver. Ultrasound is very sensitive in detecting any obstructions to the kidneys, such as hydronephrosis, and for detection of kidney stones as well. Renal infections or surrounding fluid collections are useful and easily seen by ultrasounds. The texture and size of kidneys are assessed. This is very important in patients with hypertension and diabetes who may have underlying kidney or renal function disturbances. Layla, with the patient having the patient turned on her left side, is able to image the gallbladder. The gallbladder looks almost like a black circle, which is normal. We're looking in the gallbladder to determine if there are any gallstones, any inflammation of the gallbladder wall, or pericholocystic fluid that could indicate gallbladder dysfunction. While looking at the gallbladder, we check the bile ducts as well and make sure that they are not obstructed. Then with the patient back supine, you can turn back on your back, we like to check to image the pancreas. The pancreas is a very difficult organ to feel on palpation during physical exam and catching diseases such as pancreatic cancer of the pancreas early is very important in the prognosis of that patient's disease. In addition, during the exam, the ultrasound technologist will usually visualize the aorta and inferior vena cava, as well as the portal vein, which are main blood supply structures in the upper abdomen. That's an image of the aorta in its length. We are able to take measurements of the aorta and indicate size, as well as with any hardening of the artery or atherosclerotic plaque. All of these are very useful diagnostic tools to determine if patient has underlying atherosclerotic disease. Patients with diabetes, hypertension, or other cardiovascular risks are well served in having abdominal sonography. In addition, Layla would scan the patient's left side allowing her to visualize the left kidney as well as the spleen. That is a picture of the left kidney and once again assessing for size, contour, and texture. And the spleen is assessed for its size and texture as well. Many underlying disease states such as liver cirrhosis and other types of malignancies can cause splenic enlargement, which may also be difficult to assess on physical exam. <music>